Tundra brake upgrade. Let's go. So the parts you're gonna need for the Tundra brake upgrade are gonna be the remanufactured calipers and the new rotors. And then Mason, what are these? Those are the brake pads themselves. So these are some different brake pads that you're gonna need for the swap. The ceramic type brake pad and then uh, the shim kit that you need um, to get the pad spacing correct. Yep, and that's pretty much all you're gonna need for the swap. So we just took off the wheels and the next step here is gonna be taking out the pads so you can easier take the caliper off. So Mason's just taking off the pads. And we'll now back. we're just taking off the caliper. It's gonna be a 17. It might require a little bit of force. I'm not gonna re redo this. Oh, Mason's. Okay. <laughs> we'll be back when we get this off. <laughs> Like a nipple or whatever, uh, and I was like, I can't get under the video. But I'm like, cracking the bolts. Ah, that fucking Imagine hurt. Imagine having to go to work and saying, I'm so sorry, this is my cat. I saw this video. Or your boyfriend explaining that shit. Your oh, yeah, boyfriend no. would believe that shit. Boyfriend would be like, oh, I need proof. Luckily, you don't have. So to after you get the rotor off, we're gonna need to clearance some of the shield here to fit the new caliper, and we're just gonna cut right along there uh, to make the room for the rotor. And Mason's gonna start right now. Sienna racing. Oh. Using a nice to wall angle grinder. Though. Yep, don't forget the battery on your angle grinder. It's an important part. <laughs> Quality car. Bro, you have a Honda right there. you be looking So once you're done cutting it, it will then clear the rotor as you can see. You just want to make sure you get enough off of both the top and the bottom for it to clear and that looks pretty good. So the next step is going to be putting on our brand new caliper from a Tundra. As you can see, bolts on like factory. I shot a bolt. You can see that damn bolt. No, I don't. Just show it like, there you go. They show the bottom one too. They know where they are. Same place as factory. That's what she said. <laughs> Oh, no, you didn't. Never mind. Come on, be on you. All right, Sienna Racers. So uh, today, after we've got the uh, TBU mostly installed, what we're gonna do? You gotta do this when you put new calipers on. We gotta bleed the brakes. So uh, as you see, we got our vacuum bleeder here, a little catch can, you know, so we don't contaminate the environment with any uh, dot fluid because we don't want the fish to die because that would be awful. Definitely didn't spill any right there. None, absolutely none. But uh, yeah, so we're gonna continue bleeding this. Basically, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pump this thing we're gonna get some serious vacuum going on this bad boy and uh crack the bleeder open uh we're gonna let it pull through for a little while and then uh, after that we're gonna pump bleed it like five pumps down let make sure it's firm crack the bleeder wait till this uh fluid right here is uh has no more air bubbles in it once there's no air bubbles you know we'll be good to go we can uh drive the car and hopefully it stops if it doesn't stop come back here and do it again simple don't call me retard yeah, we'll think about it next time I think about that word. It's literally over max. <laughs> it's literally, yeah, it's over fucking mm. max, too. Alright, we're gonna pull some serious vacuum in this thing, just like we told the scanner racers we were gonna do.